All right, guys, today is part two of transformations of linear functions. So we're going to look at what happens when we look at our parent function, y equals x, and a is being multiplied to x. Um, when that happens, and oh, let's note that a is greater than one. So it may be two, three, four, eight, twenty any number bigger than one. All right, whenever that happens, we know that the graph is going to become steeper, all right, or we say more steep. So this is the parent function right here, but look at this green line, and you see that it's moving closer to our y-axis. That means that it's getting steeper. So notice that in our parent function, the slope is one, right? We start right here, and then we go, we rise over run y over x, right? So that's up one and then right one, right? So that's the slope, right? It's one for the parent function. But if you notice for this green one, um, there's a point here. And of course, it still starts at the origin. And we go, our y is two here while our x is one. And of course, two over one is two. So the slope of this line is two. Well, what does that mean? The equation for this line is y equals two x. So that's two times our f of x, which is two x. And we say that the graph is steeper by two. All right, that's how we describe this. So in these examples over here, we have a number being multiplied to this parent function right here. All right, so in the first one, we have three times f of x, which is x. So that means that this is three x. All right, and how will we describe this transformation? We should say that the graph is steeper by times three or by three. All right, so that means that when we look at the second one, this five times our f of x, which is x, then we should say that the graph is steeper by, yep, by five. Now I want you to work on three and four. Okay, so in the next section, we're going to look at still a number being multiplied by f of x, but what happens when that number is in between zero and one, which means it's a fraction like a half or a third or something like that. Then we say that it's less steep we say it's less steep. So if we look again at the parent function, we already noted that the slope of the parent function is one, right? So when we look at the slope of our purple graph, right? See how it's less steep than the parent function, right? So let's look at that slope. Start here. There's a point there. And so our y is 1 and our x is 2. So this slope is 1 over 2 since we're dealing with y over x with slope. All right, so our equation would be 1 over 2 times our f of x, which is just 1 half x. And that verifies. We said the slope was 1 half, and there we are. So what do we say? That this graph is less steep than the parent function by a half. So what does that lead us to say about these examples, right? They should all be less steep by whatever the fraction is that we're given. So fill that in. All right, for the next section, we have f of x 
but we're tagging on a negative here. All right. And what do we see? That there is a reflection here. That there's a reflection. So while the slope of our parent function here is still one, if we look at the other graph, our y is one and our x is negative one. So that is a slope of one over negative one, which is negative one for our slope. So we would say negative x, right? That would be our slope. But of course we like to write the official equation first. So that's negative of the f of x, which is negative x. And we just describe this as a reflection. All right, we just say this is a reflection. And we can say across the x-axis, um, I think it's a little bit more than that, but we're going to say reflection. All right, we're going to say reflection for now. So in these examples, yes, we know the reflection, right? But we also see that there's a little bit of a combination because there was a plus one added outside of the negative f of x. So um, we know to say that this is a reflection, right? But also, this plus 1 on the outside of f of x is saying that this graph would go up 1. It would go up 1. So how would we describe this one here, right? We know there's a reflection because of the negative f of x. But that minus 4 on the outside is saying we should go mm -hmm, down 4. And then what happens here with 11, right? We have negative, but then negative 3 times f of x. And we already said in the first section that when a whole number is being multiplied to f of x, then it becomes more steep. So this is actually a reflection. But also, the graph is more steep or steeper by 3. See if you can take your hand or take your turn, whatever the phrase is. <laughs> Try 12. All right, and for the last one, it's just a practice on combinations. So we still have our parent function here. Y equals X. But now, um, there's some some things going on and we need to take note of it all right we have a point here and a point here right so we can easily find our slope by looking at our change in y or our change in x so that's one over negative one which is just negative one right so that's our slope but there's something else going on right so we recognize that this is a reflection but also what's going on and what we need to take note of is that we went down one, left one. And we talked about this yesterday that when we represent going down, that's a minus one outside of our f of x. Since it's a reflection, we need a negative. And since we went left in the inside, we need to plus one. So this kind of represents everything that's going on, and that may have been a lot, but immediately we know it's flipped even without looking at our slope. So because it's flipped this way, in this negative slope, there's a reflection, and therefore we need to put a negative. The second thing I notice is the fact that it went down, so I knew there needed to be a minus one. And then the next thing I needed to check was did it go left or right from the parent function? And since it went left, that's why it's plus one. So how do we describe this? We know it's a reflection. We just said we noticed it went down one. And lastly, we noticed it went left one. All right. So those are the things that I noticed there. 
hopefully you noticed it too. All right. Now what? I want you to come and describe what might happen with these. What might happen with these transformations? Using what we did here to help you.